Merry Christmas, you guys. It's almost Christmas time. Can't believe how fast this month has flew by. It's crazy. Today, we are having some family come over this evening for some dinner and appetizers. We're gonna visit, the kids are gonna play, and last minute, I decided to throw together a really simple, tablescape you guys and I just wanted to create just a really cute and romantic setting for our dining table we're gonna be making appetizers and we're gonna have a really nice dinner so I just wanted to set the table a little extra for tonight I'm gonna to show you guys how I do that everything I use for my little table setup I already have on hand um, I didn't go out and just buy anything to decorate the table with everything I just kind of pulled and plucked from around my house. And I'm gonna show you guys how I put that together and then I also think we're going to do some baking. We're gonna do, if we have time, I'm gonna try and make some uh, bruschetta which is one of like mm, my favorite appetizers. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do that as well. So we don't have a lot of time, they're gonna be here pretty soon and we have a lot to do. So I'm gonna show you guys how I put together the table and then let's make some yummy appetizers. So to start off, I have this green cedar garland, which I absolutely love. I have two of these I'm gonna place down the center of my dining room table. It just adds a really nice and fun festive color to my dining room, and it's a perfect setting to add that little Christmas touch in. So next I have my plates. I have, I'm using two chargers. One, both of them are actually from Hobby Lobby. I love the natural woven one, and then I also have this really rich brown that I'm gonna layer up to. Now don't worry, I do have my price tags on these, but I did take them off just before dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and place six seats at our dining room table. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in these really pretty champagne colored juniper berries. I'm not sure if they're considered juniper berries or if they're just kind of like a champagne frosted berry. Either way, I use these in my tree, in my Christmas tree, and I had some extra left over. So this is a perfect way. It also tied in the rest of the decor around my house. Next, I have these birch logs that I purchased from Hobby Lobby as well. I am pulling these from my centerpiece that I have on my coffee table and then I have these pine cones. I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of sprinkle them down the center of the table. You want it to look effortlessly placed so I'm just kind of doing opposites of when I place them. Next I have these cast out cast iron candlesticks that I purchased from Hobby Lobby as well. These are really great because they're heavy and I love the black metal. I love the, that they're tall and they're sleek and they're just perfect. So I have three of these and then I'm going to go in and add another set of candlesticks that are a little bit smaller so we have a variety of height to the dining room table. And candlesticks are just such a great way to add ambiance to any space so why not add it to your dining table. Next I have these wine glasses that you can pretty much purchase from anywhere. Home Goods has a really good variety. But I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle those in and that is what I'm doing for my Christmas tablescape, you guys. I don't even have a Christmas tablecloth or a runner or even Christmas napkins, but I think it turned out pretty cute for a last minute. Now it's time to make our appetizer. We are making bruschetta for tonight's appetizer and this is just a family favorite of ours. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna chop up six Roman tomatoes. And we're gonna throw it into a nice little pan and then I'm gonna go in and grab some fresh basil out of my window seal. This is that little plant I bought from the grocery store. It's just so delightful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up a handful of basil and you guys can check this recipe down in the description box if you would like. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some red onion. I just like to use a little bit. I don't like to use a lot because not everybody loves onion. So we're gonna go ahead and just chop up about a fourth of the onion. And I like to have the onion really minced so you get really small bites and you're not getting a really big bite of a red onion. Then we're gonna go in and add about a tablespoon of minced garlic and then we're gonna go and add in some fresh chopped mozzarella Now you can buy the mozzarella pearls which are much easier but if you can't find those you can also just chop up some fresh mozzarella as well So 
So after the fresh mozzarella is chopped up, then we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna add some balsamic vinegar. This really gives it that nice acidic taste to the freshness of all the ingredients and it's just so good. So we're gonna add some fresh cracked pepper and salt and that is it for this dish. We're gonna wrap it up, put it in the refrigerator and then we are going to toast up some sliced baguettes. Now you can use a French bread, you can use sourdough. I prefer either one, but this one is sourdough and it's just so yummy. So what we're gonna do, it already comes pre-sliced so that saves me a lot of time, but we are gonna add some melted butter. This is salted butter that we're gonna just kind of dabble over the tops of these sliced baguettes and we are gonna toast them up in the oven on broil. You gotta make sure that you watch them because you don't want them to burn. But I like having these nice and toasted so that way it will hold all the juices from the bruschetta. I'm gonna go in and I'm, I really love to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. I just feel like it just adds another layer of flavor to the bruschetta and it just gives it a really delicious taste. So now that these are all popped out of the broil, I'm going to just place these on my serving board and get ready for our guests to come. Give this a try, give me your honest opinion. Let me know if it needs more salt. I think I added enough, but. <laughs> what does that think? Is it Just good a enough? Bit salt, but it's great. A little bit more salt. It's okay, great. let's add it. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. If you guys haven't seen my Christmas decorate with me, definitely check that video out down below. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And until next time, I will see you guys later.